What is up, guys? Alex here from thetechnoclass.com. Welcome to my messy room. I had no time to actually prepare for this unboxing. But here we are. We have a Google Cardboard copy or a, a, a cardboard made out of Google's uh, 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 specifications for Google Cardboard. I bought this for about 400 pesos from abubot.ph. Uh, you also have to pay 80 pesos for shipping. Uh, but what we're going to do is just build this cardboard uh, virtual reality glasses out of scratch and hopefully... I don't mess up. See you guys in just a bit so we can build this thing. All right, guys, we're back. And as you can see, we have completed the uh, Google Cardboard build, but uh, I didn't show you some parts of it. Uh, I built the entire cardboard thing already, but I have added a lot of modifications to the build, uh, particularly just added a bunch of uh, tape, uh, scotch tape and this uh, little head strap here. So you don't have to hold the actual unit onto your head like most cardboard users do. Uh, what I did is basically just add some tape, for example, here on the magnet. I just added tape here so the magnet wouldn't get loose, go loose. Uh, added some tape inside the, the, this magnet right here so it wouldn't fall off. Uh, and a lot of magnet here on the face area so it wouldn't get wet from oil or sweat or anything if you're using the Oculus, or I'm sorry, not Oculus, the Google Cardboard for a long time. But uh, in essence, you want to use it like so. For example, here is your phone. I uh, you got a bunch of cardboard apps. For example, use uh, the regular cardboard app here. You plug it in and you can see there's a divider on your phone. Uh, that goes into the divider on the actual nose, uh, the actual divider on the cardboard. And you put this in your face. When you put this in your face, you'll see that there are some uh, 3D rendered, well, not 3D rendered, but uh, to each eye, it looks like a single image and it will look, you can select items on that and then there are 3D stuff in there. So that's what it looks like. And then if you want to select an item, you just uh, flick this button right there and it will select that item. Pretty intuitive. You can use uh, on other games or other apps uh, on cardboard, you can use a gamepad. Uh, but the basic setup is you press this uh, you s basically use this button to select. As you can see, I I have a screen set up over there where I can see what's going on. But I will show you that in a bit when I put this uh, this Google Cardboard on a head, and you'll see how it works. All right, guys. So we're back, and as you can see, we have the uh, Google Cardboard mounted on Mr. Iron Man's face right here. And as you can see, we're playing a game uh, that is done on a roller coaster. And as you can see, I'm spinning Iron Man's head. And as you can see in the background, which is kind of laggy because we're just using Miracast. On the background, you can see that the uh, Iron Man can sort of turn around and see what, what's behind him. Turn forward, see what's in front of him. Turn to the left, look down, look up. You know, the typical virtual experience. And as you can see, the Google Cardboard is doing pretty good. And this does look like a nice virtual reality game that doesn't lag when it is on your head. Of course, 
Uh, with Miracast, the, the monitor is lagging. But this is a pretty good experience. Um, for, you know, for a pretty good VR experience, a fully immersive uh, type of roller coaster experience on uh, your phone. You know, it's just, you know, a phone app. Uh, and as you can see, we have done the roller coaster. You can actually, you want to go again, you just look at the switch right there. And it starts again. Pretty good, pretty cool application. We're going to look at one more thing, though, before we finish up this sort of unboxing. All right, guys, so here is one of the sort of the coolest uh, re VR re virtual reality applications out there. Uh, this is a, I believe, a uh, third party or a, a, a recreation of Shadow Gun Dead Zone or Shadow Gun uh, in complete VR. So as you can see, we are not dropped into the game. And I do have a Bluetooth controller here, but I will show you how that works in just a bit. We are in the game right now, and as you can see, you can look around in this virtual environment. That's pretty cool. You know, you've never seen uh, Shadow Gun until you've seen it in VR. And as you can see, this looks really, really nice in actual game, in, in the actual goggles. Uh, but it is sort of downgraded quality when it comes to getting it under Miracast. But the best part about this is if you have a Bluetooth controller, you can actually move your guy around. As you can see, I'm moving him to the left to the right forward and backward so um we the the controls here are supposedly you you should be moving your head while moving the controller but i can't do that really uh much better than having to put the google goggles google cardboard on myself but uh here is a pretty cool uh 3d effect here if you're looking at it through the goggles the guy here, as you can see, there's a left view over there and the right view over here. You can actually see the guy here and look him up and down. Oop, the mirror cast is lagging, though. So you can look at him very, very closely. And the 3D effect is, you know, it pops into your face. Really, really cool. So you can look up and down, look around the, uh, the environment here in all of uh, what it calls Shadow Guns Glory. Pretty nice game here. Unfortunately, it's not entirely playable. You can't really shoot people. Uh, there, it is just a demo for VR, but it is quite a promising demo of something like a first-person shooter done in VR. As you can see, we can look at this guy. And in, 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 in the goggles themselves, I'm sorry, Iron Man is losing his goggles. On the goggles themselves, this is fully in 3D effect. You can look at his gun and uh, it'll be super in 3D. That's really, really cool. So that's about it. Um, there's so many more things I can show you. There is a v, uh, uh, movie player. You can watch movies in 3D or have a, a fake virtual cinema. You're, you can be sitting on a fake virtual cinema. Really, really cool applications here. Uh, what I do like is, uh, for example, if you want to watch a movie on uh, privately, you know, I don't really mean watching porn or anything, but if you want to watch your movies and don't want to disturb anybody but want a big screen, you can put your smartphone on the Google Cardboard and watch your movie in entire P in, in, with a large screen on your face. And also, um, you would have a pretty good immersive experience if you have a 3D environment. I'm sorry, I have a messy room. But yeah, it's a nice Google Card uh, Google Cardboard is pretty cool. I bought this for 400 pesos from abubot.ph. Obviously, you can get it from elsewhere, and you can get a bigger one for bigger phones. This is for 5-inch phones. But that's about it. That's it for Google Cardboard, my unboxing, and my opinions about it. I like it. It's worth the price for the 400 pesos. You do have to modify it to add this uh, strap for your head. But, you know, it is a nice little VR helmet thing, goggle, for, you know, entertainment purposes. So, yeah. There you go, Alex from a techno class.com here. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.